Thank you so much for joining me for the gap. If you were here with me for the next fest demos, I did play a very short teaser of the gap for next fest. I hadn't realized at the time when I was playing just how quickly the gap was coming out. Um, for anyone who is joining me, I do want to insert quickly a trigger warning, a few of them. Uh, there is self-harm. There is uh, multiple self-harms and just a sense of someone giving up. And I want to make sure that if you are watching this, that you were, that you were okay with that. Uh, as the story unfolds, it is quite heartbreaking. And at one point in the story, it is startling to see. So uh, that is your trigger warning. But if you're still here with me, thank you so much. Uh, let's continue on with the story. One must have a good memory to be able to keep the promises one makes. I'm Nietzsche. And I know okay, I can make it, Josh. I'm this close, Amber. I swear. Josh, I just need a couple more weeks, Josh, and then we stop it. I can't be having this conversation again. I'm sorry, but we really have to go. I have. to. To go. But why? I keep telling you, we can work this Look, out. Everything I had to say is in that envelope. I don't want a fucking envelope. I want us to stay together. I want us to go through this together. You keep repeating these words, Josh, but I just can't see it. If what you say is true, why won't you act the part? I'm trying to. Yeah, by working on your delusions all day. Once you decide to be a father and a husband, give us a call, okay? Hey, please, come on. Don't do this. Goodbye, Josh. All right, we are back. We played a version of this during the next fest demo just a few days ago. Well, that's just fucking great. I guess all my hard work isn't worth anything. Still, I have to prove her wrong. I just have to find the last piece. I'm so close. I know it. Where could it be? What could it be? I searched through all my notes already. Shit! All right, only these left to check. So, which one is it? As they say, a new reality always requires two items, not only one. Those are just your memories. Not you, I suppose. Not you either, of course. It'll be all right, I promise you. So it's this one, huh? Just perfect. Fucking deja vu. Why do there always have to be two pieces to make it work? Actually, it's a fucking miracle I can still remember what the first one is. Or who I am, for that matter. Damn it. Okay, Josh, this is it. Get your family and life back together. You can do it. Just breathe. Hello, Joshua. Oh, shit. Here we go. No turning back now. The Gap. Hey, 
Hey, Josh. It's me again. If you can hear me, please pick up the phone. You're not replying to our messages, so we're getting quite concerned. Mia couldn't even reach you through local, so I wondered if your subscription got canceled or something? Are you sure Tessa's taking care of everything, or should I come over and take a look? Also, did you manage to check out the project I sent you? In any case, please give us a call ASAP. Right. Don't trust. And there's a spray can here. The cure. Really nothing to see here. Don't think anyway. Oh. First memory. Collect your first memory. Medication. All right, let's swing through here. He's got a messy table. These bananas got all the fruit flies on it. That's gross. And we walked past here, and it took me uh, the knife and the thing and the wall. Eighty percent of the food is expired. Mold detected. It's been 17 days since your last refill. Tessa subscription expired. Subscribe now to get your groceries delivered weekly. Mm, such a happy, happy moment. His wife and daughter, I assume. And him and his daughter. Christmas 2014, or 2040, excuse me. Come here. He who controls the past controls the future, and he who controls the present controls the Well, and the dough pat. Which will come up later for us. open well, of course Josh it's unlikely to be the first you shot can. fingers crossed for the next one it'll all be worth it do it for her she'll understand your sacrifice loser have hope have you researched this enough Does this mean he took his medication or that he flushed his medication? But he did punch the gold, which is unfortunate. Don't enter. Hey, 
at the happy little squirrel. Happy little park. Winging. Maybe this drawer is open. Nope. I bet your wife's gonna be very sad about all the dead plants, dude. Dear Josh, presumably I'm writing this letter much before you are reading it. Please do not judge me for making this decision in advance for both of us. Believe me, it wasn't easy. I figure I better do this now before the situation escalates to a point we can't return from. I really wish we had more time. As responsible grown-ups, though, we have to acknowledge the facts. We can't take care of each other anymore, at least not the way we once hoped to. I know how hard you tried to keep it us all together, so have I, but try as we might, we're different people now. The time has come to part ways. Please understand that this is the entire family's best interest. Even though it's going to be hard for everyone involved, I wish you all the luck and love in the world. Please reach out for help. If not for me, do it for Maya. She needs her father. You can also call Blake for any news about us any time. I've decided to write this letter so you can read it once I'm gone and be reminded of what we can never change. I've decided to write this letter so you can read it once I'm gone and be reminded that what we had can never change. Love you for infinity, Amber. Yes, don't worry about Mia. Blake's taking care of her. You can see us once you get better. In the meantime, I bless you something. Remember us by. Well, that's not a good sign. Getting career and research achievement 2040. Joshua Hayes. Hello, Joshua. And that fine operating system. Hey, Joshua, we should try again. You don't remember when you sleep, you forget. Don't panic, I can help. Trust me. 253672. I have the cure. Find me. It's the letter that we focus on. There we go. Good luck with the finals, love. Hippocampus meaning seahorse. Why well, he's got all the seahorse stuff?
Nothing so uh, oh. My mouse, I couldn't get the controller to go over here. By the way, about the EEG question, I think you were wrong. I answered alpha to beta. Um, but why? Pretty sure it was high beta to seizure. Well, sure, exactly. 99.9%. Oh, man. Now I can just hope for the best. Stop being so dramatic. There was like a hundred questions in total. Besides, why are you asking me for help if you don't even trust me? I don't know. You left so early. I thought you tanked it. So I reconsidered a few of your answers. A few? Which ones? No. <laughs> Crush my morale. I'm not sure why the controller wouldn't let me move over, but... I think I'm going to stop playing with the controller. It seems a little clunky. Oh, good luck. Uh, ace those finals. Oh, she gave him chocolates, it looks like. I don't think I noticed that last time. Because <laughs> I'm um, not... Alright, let's do this real quick. I know a bit cheaty, but since we did this in the um, demo, I actually know the answers. sister have some fun some fun that's all women are to you huh Ams. josh told me you've been dating some other girl for a while now Haley, right so what happened was she not fun enough oh knock it off amber <laughs> Haley was just a fling nothing serious besides i've had a couple of drinks tonight so you know yeah i know i bet you blame substance abuse for getting your best friend expelled while taking your finals too man come on why do you got to tell her everything So Blake is her sister. I know in the first, uh, in the demo, I couldn't remember who Blake was, but it's all seized. All right, real quick, we got to go back because I thought I wrote it down in the demo, but I wrote it down somewhere where I don't see. So we're going to just backtrack really quick and then we'll come back. to the letter. Did this if we focused on it too long? Yeah, that was this one. Locked. Tablet. 
Okay, so that code two five three six oop. Talk to you soon. Okay, we couldn't read this. That's right. Mind controlling nanobots soon be used. No, 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 no. Ugh. Cool, thanks. I'll take a look at it in class. Right now, this late? Yeah, guest lecture. Can you call when you get home? Okay, talk to you then. I have that essay due tomorrow, so I'll be up late. Okay, talk to you soon. Happy birthday. Aw, thanks, babe. We still on for tonight? Of course. Pick me up at 8. Sounds good. Can't wait to see you. Hearts. Me too. Smiley face heart. Uh, cure for your ailment and disability. Uh, diary treatment progression and potential side effects. Woke up to a vivid nightmare, severe headache throughout the day. No painkillers help. Nausea again after two days. No blackouts. Uh, side effects identical. Less headaches. Nausea persists. Intense headache and dizziness just after. Deja vu. I, vo I the volunteer patient Joshua Hayes, born on March 22nd, 2000, hereby give my permission and full consciousness to the medical personnel who are involved in this clinical trial and ongoing research conducted and sponsored by Noraxis Corporation aimed toward determining the effects of overall memory enhancement based on the formation of the new nanotech meshes formed by Noraxis. Uh, the neurobots on the basis of pre-existing neurons as this program's sole focus is aimed at memory formation and storage the neurobots are only to be implemented within the hippocampus and prefrontal prefrontal cortex the aim of this program is to avoid any further neurological damage to the mentioned regions um resulting let's see blah blah, blah uh resulting the aim of this program is to avoid any further neurological damage to the mentioned regions, preventing memory impairing diseases from forming or advancing, resulting in improved neurological capacity for storage and retrieving memory. I understand that the only way in which this program can be conducted is by the exposure of human volunteers to known amounts of the agent. Uh, 50 milliliters of saline water containing 50 milligrams of neurobots. The solution containing nanobots will be administered in a, a non-invasive procedure. I understand that as such a volunteer, I may encounter certain minor medical difficulties and that the program is not without a hazard. Uh, the majority of the brain waves are within the expected range. Current post-procedure EEG test results are expected. Nothing crazy. Oh, they just moved in. Wait. Oh, is this her and her sister? I think it a bit blurry. Like you've tried to focus on it and it went blurry. We'll come back to hold on. We'll we'll come back to that. Grocery shopping. Bananas are not rotten. Oh, interesting. A little bit of a different... You no, know, same view, just... Better, I guess. Oh, there's the smart... Uh, I hear water. Oh, it's keeping... Oh, it's our baby's room. A toddler's room, maybe? Maybe go somewhere for a week or two. To no avail, I should have known. He's been mentally absent since the diagnosis. He keeps believing in this hypothesis. 
a hypothetical breakthrough that could magically bring everything back to normal. I think he might be a bit delusional. I suspect his post-procedural therapy worsened at all. These meds cause such a physical side effects, they surely affect the psyche as well. He avoids talking to me about any of it, even though he's been in contact with Chris more often in the past few months. I just hope Chris isn't taking advantage of Josh again. I really do fear for him, and Mia. I really do fear for him, and Mia. God, I don't even know what to tell her. I pray that someone finds this damn cure, so she won't have to go through all this. Nothing makes sense anymore. I'm trying my best, but nothing changes. Josh is unbearably reclusive at times. He locks himself in a study and doesn't let anyone in. And yet, often when he's physically present, he's absent-minded. I told him Mia needs her father, but he seems almost unbothered. I don't want this burden for my family to continue. I feel it's my responsibility to stop this from escalating any further. So that's got a memory attached to it too. I'm going to explore first and then we'll come back. I hear running water. Uh oh. Overture. Josh, you there? Ah, password on. Oh, it's Amber's phone. Oh, Josh messaging her. I imagine it's a different password, huh? Ten signs you're burnt out. Rising sea levels now leave more than a hundred million without homes worldwide. Good afternoon, Amber. Good afternoon, Joshua. Manual driving cars will be banned in most cities by 2040. Nanotechnology makes cancer an illness of the past. It's interesting that uh, it must have, uh, like, the mirrors are so smart and synced to the phones that it's displaying news articles that it knows that interest you. necklace October 12th today was supposed to be a good day or so we hoped as promised Dr. Hedinger from Switzerland answered they're unable to offer us anything new we're still waiting for the remaining three clinics to respond but the chances are getting very slim as expected the alternative therapy doesn't seem to have a significant effect either some symptoms have been slightly elevated some symptoms have been slightly alleviated, but the dysfunctions are still getting worse. I think all of this is starting to affect my ability or even desire to paint. So we're trying not to lose hope. October 15th, I tried convincing Josh to take a break so we can spend more time together as a family. Uh, the main key to assessing parallel universes is so-called deja vu. My latest research indicates that changes in brave waves when experiencing deja vu create a brief gateway to a parallel universe. This phenomenon occurs only when an event or an observed image of the primary universe is very similar, exactly the same as the parallel one. Enhanced memory by neurobots enables stronger deja vu sensation, hence leading to prolonged quantum leaps. Random enhanced memories after sleep can remember certain parts of a specific action event in great detail. Some other aspects feel like a void. Uh, week 21 post procedure. Let's see. Um, certain memories enhanced to, to feel almost like watching a scene from a movie. Can remember the dialogue with Amber from the park in great detail. Her voice is so clear, it almost feels like an auditory hallucination. Uh, short blackouts interwined with some enhanced memories during work. Very distracting. Breakthrough. First parallel reality possible reach today. Deja vu lasted approximately two to three seconds. If you're different from other enhanced memories, didn't feel like a 
specific memory event, but rather like another place. I reached it twice consecutively, couldn't explore much. I believe in somehow connected and act as deja vu gateway. Exhausted after, we'll try again. So he's quantum leaping. <laughs> Uh, Neurobots. Okay, well, I guess we'll start with this one and let our cells be taken. Oh, we can't. Locked. Okay, what about this one? Hello? Hey man, it's Chris. Yeah, I know. I'm still literate. Well, how convenient, because I'm calling you about your Naraxis request. Oh, uh, did you manage to get it past the committee already? Well, not quite yet. What are you up to right now? Can you talk? Yeah, sure. I'm currently pretending to be a chef, but I'm all ears. Okay, cool. Look, I'll try to make this quick. So, there's a catch with the application. I can't get you in without an underlying medical condition. They won't allow it. And I don't want to push it too hard, because if the committee feels it's too fishy, they may reject it altogether. So, does your family have a history of any memory-impairing illnesses? Oh, damn. Uh, let me think. I don't quite remember any... Well, there it is. Aunts, uncles, uh, cousins twice removed. Anyone? No, not... Oh, yeah. I think my estranged uncle from my mother's side had Alzheimer's before he died. I never knew him personally, so I'm not entirely... Great. That should suffice. Oh, so that's it? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, we'll apply it under the term preventative measures. I'll let you know if they need anything else. Okay, then. Keep you posted. Sure, man. Will do. Tell Amber I said hi. Yeah, don't worry. I won't. Bye. Yeah. Over and out. Yeah. Oh, no. I wanted to put the hamburgers together. I was in the group. All right. We don't know our password. See, based on mathematical calculations and succeeding colander tests, you put Boston physicians a Proved the elusive theory that multiple universes do in fact exist. Although the multiverse theory has been extremely popular in the works of science fiction, especially in the past few years, no actual scientist or scientific group seemed to be able to definitively prove or disprove its validity until now. Dr. Robert Lees, the leading scientist at the University of Edinburgh, proposed that the universe presumably splits into similar versions of itself. Hey man, I just got promoted. Let's go celebrate. By the way, did you get your brochure? We may even discuss a potential career change for you, only if you pay though. Let me know when you're free. Mm -mm. Not why she says she's tired of Chris. Parallel universes. Alright, so another one then. Necklace. Alright, that takes us into an alternative world. Love you, Affinity Amber. Aww. We are hiring. Let's get 
which book? I think this is Amber's book. She's, uh, she's an artiste. So is this, like, their first apartment? Happy anniversary, by the way. You're going to be a daddy! Aww. Yeah, Amber. Okay, I'm not calling it out, but is this uh, uh, AI art? Her and her sister, graduation. Seventh anniversary. Dinner with Chris. I want to look at everything first before we start taking those trips. Oh, look at the window real quick. What do we see? Uh, Huntington's Korea? Korea? I don't know. Huntington's disease? Oh, no. Is a hereditary degenerative disorder of the central nervous system. Without immediate treatment after diagnosis, the life expectancy uh, it, from patients ranged 10 to 15 years. Currently, there is no cure. Uh, Amber Wise, date of birth. Patient Amber Wise is admitted for testing based on the following symptoms. Oh, family confirmation positive for Huntington's. Oh, so she's positive for Huntington's. Oh, no. Okay. Let ourselves be drawn in. Uh, Paris, where are we going? going. say is that I'm interested in what the program has to offer over time. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but it may take them decades to develop the cure for Huntington's. Memory enhancement is currently their only interest. Yeah, I know. We don't have that much time. That's why I've been trying to find an alternative. So, you're actually working on developing a cure? I'm working on finding one. What, like a parade? No, I have a better solution. I mean, it's still more of a theory. Do you have a pen? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, what for? Here. Thanks. Okay, so this is us, you and me sitting in a bar, right? Okay. Now, you offer me a job transfer. Yeah, I may take that back, though. Wait for it. Anyway, I go and take a piss. Meanwhile, I think about your offer, I come back and I say, no thanks, bud, maybe next time. Unreal bastard. Go on. But now look, bam, the universe splits, a new reality falls. And this one, I accept your offer. Then there comes another opportunity, and bam, it splits again, and again, and again. Get it? Dude, what the fuck? What do you want? Chris, the multiverse is the answer. Somewhere here, in these countless parallel realities, the damn cure has to exist. 
I just have to find it. Uh, to be honest, man, when I assumed you were trying to develop the cure by yourself, I just thought you'd become a pompous asshole. But now you hit me with this shit? Have you lost your fucking mind? Maybe. Who knows? Just promise me you'll keep me updated on the program. Are we looking for that necklace? A glare. I guess maybe it's more rose gold. I'm a doctor of philosophy. See 2040 fingers crossed for the next reality. Reach the last two already seen realities. Nothing has changed. No additional quantum leaps experienced. No new deja vu items or new memories found. Now what? Step up your fucking game. We already know this. Best ever. Uh, sending you the photos from the concert we've been talking about the other day. Didn't have much time, so I only found a few. Uh, call me and let me know what you think. P.S. If you haven't already, check your tablet. Hey, Josh, I want to let you know the lab will be closed during the holidays. If you need access, please contact Liam. Yours today. Can't click any of those. Okay, so we need into the concert photo, but I don't know what his password is. Oh. Uh. Mia and I decided to go through some old photos today. I haven't seen most of them since they were taken. Like the ones from our first uh, like the ones from our first vacation with Joshua in college. Josh got badly sunburnt. The first day we got there, he adamantly claimed to be enjoying the sunshine. It caused him to be in pain for days. Mia literally shrieked with laughter hearing the story. I tried showing these to Josh to cheer him up, but he doesn't remember ever being in South Carolina. We even found all the photos from the Netherlands. That got me really excited because I thought they got deleted years ago. Amsterdam was one of the most charming trips of my life. Nothing ever surpassed the auroras, though. Going to Iceland for our honeymoon was the best choice we ever made. It felt like we had all it... It felt like we had it all figured out, if even for a moment. 
Now I can only wish to ever feel that way again. We can't even have a joint, wishful moment about most of it anymore. Josh doesn't seem to remember much. Breaks my heart. Sometimes I think we take in those times for granted, as if they last forever, but once they're over, they only become memories, and memories are brittle. I decided to buy Mia a diary so she can record her own adventures. This way they'll stay with her a little longer. Hmm, I'm gonna guess I'm not standing in the correct spot. For the photo? Is there a photo somewhere? I just realized it's Christmas. Dear Santa, Mama said I can wish for anything, that I've been that good, you know. Don't get me wrong, I really like Botsy you got me last year, but I like to get a real pet now. So can you bring me a white rabbit with really fluffy black tail, and black ears too, and blue eye? I uh, like this one. Thanks. I'll get him a lot of carrots. Good, so now we know which... That one memory will now know where to go. By the way, remember the guy with the PhD t shirt from the acronym concert? Your email. Please don't tell anyone. Dude, you awake? We really need to talk. I hate to bother you at this time during the holidays, but we just had a meeting here at Naraxis. It's really fucking bad, man. They kept it a secret for years. There's a huge flaw with the nanobots. Call me ASAP. Uh oh. Lakes lasagna. Blake, hi. Hey, Josh. I tried calling you a few times, but it kept going straight to voicemail, so I took my chances and just dropped by. Oh, uh, I'm sorry for that. Please, come in. Sorry for the mess. Thanks. Is, uh, is something wrong? Is Amber okay? Why did the memory stop? You're not gonna answer? Oh, 
don't think she's going to answer. So if I understand this right, I need to come up over this way. I got it! It looks great! Cool! Thanks, babe! Wanna see? Yeah, maybe later. Okay. Are you not feeling well? I'm fine. I've just been thinking. You know, what good parent would take such a risk? Are we being selfish, Josh? Are you talking about the chance of inheritance? Grandpa was really young when he died. God, and the agony he had to go through. Yeah, it must be hard. If you'd like, we can have the prenatal test done and decide. No way, Josh. I've thought about it. The procedure is too invasive. I'd rather have an abortion right off. Okay, all right, look. Since we can't do much here on a hill in the middle of nowhere, how about we enjoy the view tonight and save any worries for when we get back home? It'll all be all right, I promise you. I'm Mia. Mom gave me this diary so I can write in it like she does. Yes, it's also because I once teared out a paper from her diary. I was really sad then, and little. Soon I'll be 11. So mom has been home from the hospital for four days now, and she'll have to go back next week, which makes me really sad. She says I'll have to go to Aunt Blake's for some time because dad isn't well, so I can't stay at home. He rarely goes out with us, and he doesn't eat at the table anymore. A few days ago, he fell asleep on the kitchen floor, and I couldn't wake him up for an hour probably drank too much beer. That's what Blake said. I didn't tell mom about it. Oh, me and Aunt Blake baked some cookies together. Mom said that they were the best cookies ever. Dad says he doesn't remember them, but it probably is because he wants some more. I also wrote to Santa yesterday. Although I know he doesn't exist, I pretend for mom and dad. I don't want them to argue again. Okay, bye.
Blake, hi. Hey, Josh. I tried calling you a few times, but it kept going straight to voicemail, so I took my chances and just dropped by. Oh, uh, I'm sorry for that. Please, come in. Sorry for the mess. Thanks. Is, uh, is something wrong? Is Amber okay? Stopped again there. Oh, shit. I was certain me and I spoke yesterday. She told me something about going on a school trip. Okay, I got it wrong. Blake, hi. Hey, Josh. I tried calling you a few times, but it kept going straight to voicemail, so I took my chances and just dropped by. Oh, uh, I'm sorry for that. Please, come in. Sorry for the mess. Thanks. Is, uh, is something wrong? Is Amber okay? Yeah, uh, let me help you with the bags. Oh, no, it's okay. I just brought you some groceries, the basic stuff, you know? There's no need, though. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I've had Tessa installed. Oh, the assistant thing? That's great. I bet Tessa can't make you my lasagna, though. I brought you a few slices. Oh, thanks. My favorite. Now, where should I put it? Yeah, well, that's also why I came to... Shoot. Blake, hi. Hey, Josh. I tried calling you a few times, but it kept going straight to voicemail, so I took my chances and just dropped by. Oh, uh, I'm sorry for that. Please, come in. Sorry for the mess. Thanks. Is, uh, is something wrong? Is Amber okay? Yeah, uh, let me help you with the bags. Oh, no, it's okay. I just brought you some groceries, the basic stuff, you know? There's no need, though. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I've had Tessa installed. Oh, the assistant thing? That's great. I bet Tessa can't make you my lasagna, though. I brought you a few slices. Oh, thanks. My favorite. Now, where should I put it? Oh, shit. I was certain Mia and I spoke yesterday. She told me something about going on a school trip. That was two weeks ago. Oh God, Josh, is it getting that bad? Judging by all these takeout boxes, you're not eating very well. You should take better care of yourself. Are you taking any supplements? I'm not exactly sure. Well, you should. You look pale. I'll leave the fruit on the counter so you'll be reminded to eat it, okay? Let me also open the blinds a little. You need some vitamin D. Yeah, well, that's also why I came to check in on you. You should still call a cleaning service, though. This is not very hygienic. You'll get sick. Are you sure you don't want me to make some arrangements for you? No, thanks, really. I'll tell my Tessa to do it. Okay, I'll be taking off then. Again, if you need anything, let me know. And don't forget to call Mia more often, okay? He had a support group. What went wrong?
Any particular wishes for your bunny? Yes, my 10-year-old daughter wrote Santa a very specific request, so... Oh, I see. Well, fortunately for Santa, we have lots of bunnies. Let's see if we can find the right one. Okay, so I got this one here. I can't tell if it has blue eyes or not, but it's got the black uh, ears and tail. Let me have this one. Oh, I must have got it. Of course, Josh. It's unlikely to be the first shot. Fingers crossed for the next one. It'll all be worth it. Do it for her. She'll understand. Shit. Another dead end. All right, all right. Move no. her. Who predicted have this could happen? Stay focused. Have you researched this enough? You should have done more. You betrayed your family. She'll never forget. Me. She doesn't love you for anymore. For sake. You now lied what? to her. Oh, let's you count on the next one, one, shall we? Asshole. You step no, foot on the head down. down. You're a disappointment. It was never about her. It was Delusional all about track. you. Is that what a part of your you human lied to her? calculated you predictions, so too? Tell me. Asshole. You put on the head down. You're a disappointment. It was never about her. It was Congratulations. all about you. Fucking one. You just failed your entire family. You lied to her. What? Trusting your hallucinations? Put a head down. A disappointment. It's never about her. Here's good it's all about you. What will me and What took you so long? Got sucked into a toilet or something? Yep, though I somehow managed to crawl out completely dry. Well, lucky you. We're about to board the plane. Speaking of my luck, I should start praying not to get sucked into the engine as well. Oh, stop it. Why are you so gloomy? Just think of all the cool stuff we're gonna see. The museums, the coffee shops, the windmills. Yeah, about that. Can one get sucked into a windmill? Okay, Don Quixote. Now show some enthusiasm. We're going on vacation.
So, as you already know, you are about to enroll in our new program focusing on the Neurobot's prevention of memory impairing diseases. We will go through the entire procedure in just a minute, but I have an important note first. We are legally obliged to inform you about some minor recorded side effects you should keep in mind before undergoing the procedure. Now, because the neurobots will activate soon after the procedure, you may experience some slight nausea, mild headaches, lightheadedness, enhanced memories, and a sensation of deja vu. All of these side effects may be experienced within the first few post-procedural weeks, so, unless they appear in an unexpected manner, you shouldn't worry about any of them. They're actually a great sign that the neurobots are successfully doing their job. If you agree with the presented terms, please sign the agreement placed before you. In case you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right then, we can now proceed with our presentation. We were here. the memories from 2029.
Oh, I am missing one from here. One from home? Let's see. Malfunction treatment. Observed and reported symptoms and side effects. Breakdown of post postliminary EEG and other test results. Predictions on long and short term patient prognosis. Uh, let's see. They observed long term symptoms of administering neurobots to the hippocampus and neocortex seem to be equivalent to the aftermath of injury to the mentioned areas over time resulting in the loss of episodic memory, autobiography, while keeping procedural memory, tasks, skills, actions intact. It thus appears that with the procedure, a new form of retrograde amnesia is initiated. The subject may become partially or completely unable to recall events preceding the administration of nanobots, but can encode and memorize some knowledge and experience gained from the procedure. As nanobots proceed to multiply in subsequent spurts during sleep, some newly gained memories may get lost as well. It's also observed that memories cannot be transferred to nano meshes by nanotechnological substitution of neurons and their junctions alone. Memories are being simultaneously being lost. Patients keep falling into a comatose state for unknown periods of time. And furthermore, several consistent experiences of various types of hallucinations.
Hey, babe, it's me. I'm sorry for what I said before. Can you pick me up, please? Josh? Hello? Hey, Josh. It's me again. If you can hear me, please pick up the phone. You're not replying to our messages, so we're getting quite concerned. Mia couldn't even reach you through local, so I wondered if your subscription got canceled or something? Are you sure Tessa's taking care of everything, or should I come over and take a look? Also, did you manage to check out the project I sent you? In any case, please give us a call ASAP. Josh? Hello? You there? Okay, well, I'm calling you in regards to this new project called Sharon, or Sharon? I'm not sure. You probably know more about it since it got started just after the, uh, Naraxis scandal. I've read they're working on fixing the control issue with the nanobots. I know they've only just started, but it evokes some feeling of hope, right? Let me know what you think. Also, Mia would like to talk to you. Hear that you're okay? Call us when you get my message. Hey, man. How are you? Is it getting any better or worse? Please call me so I know you're okay. I'm so sorry I got this fucked. I feel like it's all my fault, since I helped you get dragged into this mess. I really didn't know. Also, the company is shutting down due to all the lawsuits. If there's anything I can do for you while I'm still here at Naraxis, let me know, okay? Okay, I wrote down what I needed. I needed... Uh... Oh, clue's not found yet. What do you mean? Lavasil? Oh, because I'm missing one. That's why.
Back that button away? What's going on here? Working on it, kid. I just don't know how the controls work. just pushing? Am I holding the button longer? Okay, 0707. I'm wondering, I was going with the anniversary date of, uh, what is 7? Never mind. This is 0707. I'm an idiot. I think I may be having a panic attack. I don't know what to do or who else to talk to. Are you home alone? Is Josh at work? Yeah, we had a fight this morning. Oh dear. Look, I'll call you, uh, within the next 30 minutes. I'll ask for a break. Thank you. In the meantime, try to do something that calms you down. Oh, and if you start feeling any chest pains or dizziness, let me know and call or call an ambulance immediately. Okay, I will. Hey, I know you're at work, but please call me ASAP. Hey, something wrong? I'd call you, but I'm at the conference at the moment. I got my results back for HC, and I'm positive. Oh, Ams, I'm afraid you would say that. I read the prognosis they sent me. It's even worse than I thought. I really wish I could call you right away. I feel terrible. No, please don't. I'm sorry to bother you like this. You're not bothering anyone. Hey, can you stop at Gracie's on your way home? I have a list. Okay, send over. Back of onions, carrots, or vanilla puddings, not Kelly's. Uh, six loaves of sourdough bread, six bottles of mineral steak, and a bag of potatoes and four steaks. At the store right now, what kind of potatoes for boiling, frying, baking, facial mask? Okay, no such thing. What's the difference? Just choose the one closest to you. Not helpful. Same distance. There must be a difference, though. What are you making? Uh, yeah, there is. Whether you'll go hungry or not. Okay, I'll order a pizza then. Hey, did you attend your checkup today? Yeah, I'm on my way back. How did it go? Everything's according to plan. What's that supposed to mean? That everything's okay? Hey, did you tell them about the headaches, nausea? Can't really talk right now. I'll tell you everything at dinner. When are you coming home? I'll try and make it early today, around 4 or 5. Everything okay? Yeah, of course. I meant to write. Oh, that's great. Okay, see you then. Oh, does Mia have guitar lessons today? Yes, till five. Okay. Hey, can you stop at the pharmacy? I need two Lavasils. Uh, Overture, thanks. And you're also out of Proxinol. Okay, Proxy 45 minutes to four to five then. All right, no worries. By the way, what's for dinner? Nothing? You there?
So what memory am I missing from here? Babe, is everything okay? Yeah, it's all... I'm fine. Things just keep slipping out of my hands. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll help you clean up. I'm not worried, Josh. I'm annoyed. Just ruined eight hours of work. Look at it. And I can clean it up myself. No, you didn't. You're gonna figure something out. Besides, I'm here already and I have a rag with me. See? Just let me help. I collected all of these memories. Witness. Josh, what's up? Man, I'm really glad you picked up. I've not been feeling well lately. I don't know how to describe it, but I, I think something's not quite right. You mean because of the nanobots? What's wrong? I'm not sure. I keep having these blackouts. It's as if parts of my memory are being erased or something. What? Erased how? Uh, it's a bit hard to explain, I guess. Like, I'll be going somewhere and I can clearly remember where I started off, but then the next moment, I'm somewhere completely different. Everything in between is just a void. Man, that happens to me all the time, without the nanobots implanted. Don't worry about it, you're probably just overworked. Are you taking any breaks? I don't think that's the main issue. I also feel sick all the time. I can't eat, I can barely sleep. Well, yeah, you're describing the predicted side effects. During the lab trials, they faded away after a few weeks, so you should be fine. It's been a few weeks already, and it keeps getting worse. Maybe it's just taken a bit longer with you. When's your next checkup? Next Tuesday, I think. Oh, great. That's really soon. Uh, are you filling out the diary thing we gave you? Yeah, I try to. Okay, cool. Uh, just bring it with you and tell them everything you just told me. And I'll make sure they run all the necessary tests to see if something's off, all right? Okay, thanks. No problem, man. Try not to worry about it too much. I can assure you. It's just a phase. Mm. Live.
Oh, hey you. Hey Joshua, Jay here. First of all, happy birthday. Uh-oh. Guess not. <laughs> I guess we're blocking. Oh, hey you. Fucking bots. They even know when my birthday is. That's how she fixed it. <laughs> it's nice, though.
solve the wall puzzle control. Okay, that took me way too long. I didn't realize that that's what it was wanting. New viral conspiracy theory is the neuroscientist Dr. Joshua Hayes not entirely gone. As reported earlier this month, the leading neuroscientist of Project Charon, Dr. Joshua Hayes, was found dead in his home office by his sister-in-law. It is now confirmed that his death occurred exactly four years after his wife, Amber Wise Hayes, had passed away in October 2045. According to his co-worker speculation, Dr. Hayes might have transferred his uh, connectotome onto a remote server via the EEGC machine prior to his death. Evidence and support to these claims is yet to be gathered by the local police. I've made us a very special dinner. Ooh, yeah, it looks tasty. But so does the chef. So if I may, I'd prefer to start off with desserts. Oh, <laughs> no. Here we go. <laughs> Can't we just eat first? Shit, she tried to make Blake's lasagna again. Now what? I'm starving. Are you being serious right now? I just got my diagnosis, and you keep rambling about some quantum worlds? Parallel universes. I'm positive, Josh. I'm gonna fucking get sick and disabled in ten years. Yeah, I know. Then show, show me some empathy. Or is that too unscientific for you? I'm trying. Just please, let me explain. I've done some research. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what bothers me. You've been getting ready for this to happen. You probably wished for it, too. What? Why would I wish for you to get ill? Because you're pathologically obsessed with work. A cure for Huntington's would be a scientific discovery, right? Maybe you'd win another award. What the hell are you talking about, Amber? I want the cure for you, for us. We don't have enough time for scientific discoveries. We, Josh? You mean you don't have enough time? Don't worry, babe. Here, I'll give you an award in advance. Babe, come on. I'm not interested in any hypothetical possibilities or what may happen in 50 years. Well, even if nothing else changes, I'll be by your side. Always. Josh, I've read that in 80% of cases when women get terminally ill, their partners leave them. I'm absolutely terrified of that. Don't say that. How can I raise a child of my own? In a state like that? You won't have to. I'm not going anywhere. I want us to be a family. Josh, I love you, and I would like to trust you on this. But there's no guarantee you won't take off when it gets too hard. Okay, all right. I understand. You're asking for proof. How about we turn this around, and I start with a proposal first. So, Amber Wise, would you marry me? Honey, what's with all the candles? You're gonna burn the whole place down. Oh, flowers. How sweet. And yet, you don't seem to appreciate my rose-scented candles. Nah, I'm okay with them. Just okay, huh? Well, how about this one? Mmm, new perfume. I wonder what's on the menu tonight. Babe, is that you? Hey, yeah, I'm home. Great. I'm just finishing dinner. I hope you're hungry. And really tired, too. Oh, you poor thing. Hey, you've made it. 
Took you long enough, though. Did you burn all your notes or something? Anyway, how do you like this place? Remember anything yet? Oh, watch out. It's uh, easy to get lost here. Actually, you know what? Just follow me. I'll guide you. You can thank me later. What if I want to go to that door? Jesus, didn't think it would be so much work. Well, I guess it turned out quite okay. A pretty little cradle for any sleepless nights to come. I swear, Josh, today, right before her lunch, she pointed at the bottle with her hand instead of just crying her lungs out. Isn't that right, Beanie? You're so smart. Oh, a seven-month-old prodigy. Watch out, little one. Your mom has high expectations for you. Oh, stop it. I'm being serious. Babies don't do that until they're like 10 months old. Yeah, honey, I know. For the past week, we've been practicing her first word. Dad, dad. We're almost there. Oh, <laughs> don't you dare, Josh. Last week was Mia's birthday. What did you get her? Oh, don't tell me you forgot. By the way, how's your amnesia progressing? It won't stop, you know. It'll get much worse. Not a pretty sight to see someone losing their mind. Especially if it's your own. So, this is it. First year. Everyone says it's the hardest. Am I ready? Huh, the room looks neat. The dull and empty kind of neat. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna fail this so hard. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, focus, for fuck's sake. Hey, I saw you with that hat in neurology class today. Dope. Uh, what does it mean? I don't get it. It's too deep for me. Yeah, it means I'm lame and sad looking. Like your shoes. Oh, so it's a nerd thing, not a stoner thing. I'm Chris, by the way. Josh, glad we clarified this, Chris. Uh, hi? Hey, is it you? Uh, is it me what? Are you making that noise? Noise? Oh, you mean, uh, uh, I was playing the guitar, but I can stop immediately. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. It's just, I'm studying for an exam tomorrow, and it's hard for me to concentrate, so I came to see what... Yeah, sure, understood. What are you studying? I'm at the Academy of Art. Oh, cool. I don't think I've seen you around last year, though. Yeah, you haven't. I'm a freshman. Anyways, thanks again. And, uh, if you need anything from me to return the favor, just let me know. Okay, I will. Oh, by the way, what's your name? Bought tickets for Semi Hearts. He never liked them much. Did she really tell you? Okay, so Chris, maybe we'll see how it goes. By the way, how are things with Amber going? Great, I bought tickets for Semi Hearts today. May never liked them much. Did she already tell you how she feels or whatever? Um, she told me she likes me, if that counts. Like you how? I don't know, man, my personality, I guess. Oh, cool. Did you tell her it's a mental disorder? How long did it take you to generate this timely comeback? A week? Way longer. I've been holding it in since I first met you. Seriously, though, it's, that's not what I'm asking you about. What then? Does she like you like you, or does she just like you? The fuck's the difference? Is she romantically interested in your dumbass? I thought, well, yeah, dumbass. I thought that was clear. Nothing's clear with women. Wait until you get some experience. Okay, Casanova. Thanks for all the love lessons. I couldn't have done it without you. You know, I know. That's why I'm always here for you, dear. We've been together for a year already. It feels like we met yesterday. Yeah, it's her birthday. 
I want to get her something special, but don't know what that could be. Help. Me? The fuck I know. Something girls like. Oh, no shit. Big brain moment, Chris. Just buy something soft and pink. Oh, like a model of your big brain? Hey, see? We're getting somewhere. Seriously, though, she must have some hobbies or interests. Yeah, I don't know. She likes to travel and stuff. Oh, yeah, she's been writing this essay about jewelry in ancient Egypt, how they believed it protected them and shit. She seemed pretty hyped about it. Well, perfect, man. But since we're not in ancient Egypt, you're basically left with regular jewelry. Big brain moment, Josh. <sighs> I hope she likes it. Is it too cheesy, though? Great. This was probably a lame idea. Should I pull down... Your pants? Sure. The lines? <laughs> Our last year together, huh? We survived. Can you believe it? Yeah, man. Don't even start. You mean don't even finish? <laughs> I bet you're gonna miss me, man. Well, one thing's for sure. I'm not gonna miss your sense of humor. Still, though, I don't get it. Why on earth wouldn't you get a PhD? We're almost there, man. Just two more years. Yeah, don't worry about it. I may get back to it someday. I just wouldn't want to miss this opportunity, you know? The Naraxis bullshit? Once in a lifetime bullshit, if I may. Look, I'm telling you, I don't like where they're going with this. With what? Neuroprosthetics? That's the future, Josh. You're probably gonna end up in a place just like this, PhD or not. Oh nah, man, I'm not in it for the money. I'll try to invest myself in public health research or something. Good one. I'll see you in five to ten years and ask you then. Oh, Chris. Way to ruin a man's life. Joshua Hayes, Department of Neuroscience. Dissertation, abnormal brain waves and their effect on memory formation. Hooded by Dr. Matthew Johnson. Oh God, time to get on stage. Zip, you made it. Please don't trip over anything. Wait, where do I need to stand? What did the others do? Okay, there's Mark. Now to the professor. Hi. Shit, where should I turn? Uh, uh, towards you, professor. Okay, no, sorry. Keep a firm handshake, not a limp one. Make eye contact. Okay, now fuck off ASAP. <laughs> well, that didn't go so well for someone with a PhD. I hope it's not a downward spiral from here on. Hey, you're back. It's nice talking to you, you know? It's been ages since I last talked to anyone. It sure gets to you over time. Although, huh. It's a bit ironic, because I'm essentially just talking to myself. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's go barefoot. It must be so soft. Yeah, okay. Why not? Oh, shit. Fuck, okay. Ah, it's really hot. Ah, fuck me. Babe, lighten up a little. Lighten up? My feet are on fucking fire. Yeah, I'm trying. Grass. Walk on the grass. Wait, it's quite high. Which can mean bugs and snakes? This is like the perfect place to lay down and just daydream. 
don't you think? Yeah, it has that idyllic vibe, I guess. Hmm. I don't think I've ever really told you what my biggest dream is after I earn my degree. Let me guess, to travel around the universe? Well, that too. Sounds really expensive, though. I guess I would really need to own my own art studio then, and create whatever I wanted. No commissions, no restraints, you know? Cool. Sounds posh, yet doable. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Not many artists can afford to live like that these days. I have some ideas. Maybe I'll get lucky. Anyways, what about you? What's your dream? Shit. Say something interesting. Don't bore her to death. How did the entire week pass by so quickly? It's, uh, interesting how I can recall my entire past in detail. Not all of it is pleasant, but at least it's all there. In the end, this is all we have left. Goddamn memories. They define us, Josh. And they could all be yours again. You could turn a new page, start a new life. Hey, I'm home. What's that? Have you even read the entire document? Most patients reported hallucinations among many other side effects you have in common. Hallucinations, Josh! That's precisely what I'm trying to tell you. They're not hallucinations. It's been misdiagnosed. Oh, so you're saying that the entire team of scientists is wrong, and yet you're right. Exactly. And what makes you so sure? I came up with a test. A test? Yes, it's quite simple, actually. If I can enter and explore a certain reality multiple times without anything within it changing, Amber, it can't be a hallucination. It's a parallel universe. Oh, dear God, Josh. You're even more delusional than I thought. Are these like, why the fuck is this here? Oh shit, the notes. Did I forget to lock my study? I told her I'm fine, damn it. She doesn't believe a word I say. Fuck, what am I supposed to say to her now? Honey, let me explain. You shouldn't be reading these things since you don't understand shit. What the hell? Amber! You forgot to turn off! Oh shit. Amber! No, 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 no. Amber! Wake up! Look at me! Fuck! Fuck, 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 please wake up! Babe, what have you done? Where the fuck is my phone? Nine one one, what's your emergency? Help! My wife is bleeding out. There's water all over the floor. Sir, try to calm down. Your wife is bleeding? Tell me what happened. Yeah, she's, uh, she's bleeding. She's in a bathtub. Uh, I just came home. What should I do? I, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. Sir, don't worry. Help is on the way. I've got your address. Meanwhile, stay with me on the line, okay? Yeah, okay. Should I get her out? But try not to move her. Is she breathing? Can you check her pulse? Yeah, she's breathing. Amber? Amber! She's not responding. Please hurry. Got really sad, didn't it? Nah, not this way, man. Turn right. I've been thinking There's something to show you. Since this will be our only chance to get to know each other, how similar do you think we are? You and me. 
60? Quite a hard question, I guess right? you really like missing out bit. on stuff, huh? In any case, we'll find out soon enough. Oh, and you should also keep in mind our biggest difference so far. I have the cure, and you don't. Thank God I let her design this thing. Why is my heart beating so fast? Am I panicking? Is this an actual panic attack? Stop it. You have that stupid look on your face again. Look at people. In the eyes. Oh shit. And Carol had to come. Here goes all the wine. Hi, Mom. Please don't cry. It's not a funeral. Hey, Dad. Please take care of Mom. Where's Chris? God, I hope he has the rings. Oh, good. There he is. Oh, God damn it, Chris. Where did you get those shoes? I, Joshua Hayes, take you, Amber Wise, as my wife, to have and to hold. I promise to walk by your side, for better and worse, in sickness and in health. I also promise that from now on I will tidy my desk more often, will pick up my socks, and will stop leaving the dishes by the sink. I solemnly declare I will now put them in the sink. But most importantly, I promise if you let me borrow your precious words to love you forever. So, about that cure, I have the patch nanobot firmware. It seems our worst enemy can also be our best friend sometimes. This is our only chance to save her, Josh. Unfortunately, though, we can't do it together. We'll have to make a deal. Quid pro quo. I'll give you your past back. In return, you'll let me go back and save her. Here, I'll give you some time to think it through. Sweetheart, we shouldn't scare her. It's a girl? Oh, great. I'll call her Nibbles. Yeah, well, maybe think it through a little, okay? They can live up to ten years. Oh, sweetie, don't listen to your father. Nibbles is a lovely name. <laughs> okay, Nibbles. You better not nibble on any of my stuff. Make it a surprise. What do you want me to do, Amber? Wrap up the rabbit in cellophane? Surprise, sweetie. Santa brought you Schroeder's bunny. Actually, you know what? Screw surprises. I'll just tie a bow over the cage. <sighs> you need to do this, Josh. Put on a brave face. You're her father. Knock, knock. Hey, Dad. What are you up to? Nothing much. Just writing in my diary. Oh, good. I bet you'll have a lot of good things to write about. Yeah, hope so. Listen, sweetie. We need to talk. Is it about me going to Aunt Blake's? Mom already told me about it. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to talk to you as well. Look, you don't have to worry about anything, okay? This is all temporary. During Mom's stay in the hospital, I'll be really busy working on uh, a project. But it should be over soon, and we'll be back together, all right? Okay, Dad. Oh, can I take Nibbles with me? Well, you must. I can't even water the plants properly, so you shouldn't expect me to know how to take care of a rabbit. Oh, not that bullshit again. I mean a real goddamn plan. We have to secure Mia's future. My health is deteriorating, and you, you are getting just as ill. I'm fine, okay? I told you already, these are the side effects. Blake told me about you blacking out in the kitchen a few days ago. Mia was terrified. She thought you were dead. 
Thankfully, Blake managed to calm her down by blaming alcohol abuse. Is that what we're going to be telling our daughter from now on, Josh? Look, I couldn't have predicted this, and I'm really sorry it even happened. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. We can't predict anything that happens anymore. Okay, maybe you're right. At the moment, I may not be the best option for Mia, but I'm not giving up on us. Honey, I will make it work. Oh God, I am getting so tired of this. You know what? I really miss the days when we could talk and you actually made sense. I'll call Blake in the morning. Maybe she can take Mia in temporarily. Stay focused! Fuck! So, have you decided yet? It's not really a tough question if you want the family happily back together. You made them a promise, remember? If it were me, I'd keep that promise. So, Josh, how alike are we? Oh, and don't forget, clock is ticking. On behalf of my family, I would like to start by thanking everyone here today. As Amber's husband, I can say with absolute certainty that my wife would have been overjoyed by the support and love you have offered to her family in these hard times. She would have given you all a bare hug and told you what you needed to hear. I, however, was never very good at expressing my emotions crossed off. Although the, my words may not be as good as hers, I would like to share a few thoughts. The very moment I set eyes on her, I knew she was the one. It was her sense of humor and adventure, her caring nature and her smile, and of course that could never be matched by anyone else. And it never was. She meant the world to me. When we found out she was ill, we were still so very young and full of hope. I was determined to find a way. I was determined to make it all work so we could be together, start a family, and grow old. I made her a promise crossed out. That promise, however, I've unwittingly... Uh, that promise, however, I've unwillingly broken, and for that, I should never be forgiven. And that's crossed out. She was the best person I have ever met, my friend, my love, and she knew me better than anyone else. I should have listened to her. I should have made our time together count more. I was blinded by an unattainable goal, and I understand that now, but now, it's too late. And that was crossed off. I would give anything to talk to her one more time, but... And crossed off. There's nothing any of us can do to bring her back, and we can just let her live on in our hearts and thoughts. But this I will keep my vow, Amber. I will love you forever, until we meet again. This speech was the hardest thing I ever had to write, Josh. Please, don't let it be too late. We can prevent this from happening again. Just stay here and let me go back to her. You have 15 seconds to decide. And remember, if you leave through that exit, all is lost. I'm really proud of you, man. We've done the right thing. Now, since we're seemingly both men of our words, I'll give you what is rightfully yours. Just try not to lose them again, okay? Oh, and one quick note before I go. Once you start feeling like yourself again, do as I did. Good luck, Jay.
if you noticed on my screen, the alias section is blocked off. That is on purpose because that is all the friends on my Steam playlist. And uh, I figured it's probably unfair to them <laughs> if their names were shown. Uh, took me a little bit by surprise. <laughs> um. Hey, Joshua. Stay here. We should try again. Complete the game. Let's, uh... So, have you decided yet? It's not really a tough question if you want the family happily back together. You made them a promise, remember? If it were me, I'd keep that promise. So, Josh, how alike are we? Oh, and don't forget, the clock is ticking. This speech was the hardest thing I ever had to write, Josh. Please, don't let it be too late. We can prevent this from happening again. Just stay here and let me go back to her. You have 15 seconds to decide. And remember, if you leave through that exit, all is lost. Please, don't go. Congratulations, you fucking moron. You just failed your entire family. Now you're as good as dead. I, uh, for your loss, may you find comfort in your family and friends. Never forget to cherish memories with love. I'm sorry for your loss. My sincere, con sincere condolences to you and your family with the deepest sympathy. I was wondering the don't trust scribbled on. Is he talking to himself? Josh, got your alcohol even in the kids' bedroom. Super rich stranded on the moon. <laughs> Art exhibition gone wrong. Former Naraxa CEO invited to work on the new nanotech program, Sharon, after serving just seven months in jail. See, presumably I'm writing this much uh, this letter much before you're reading it. Please do not judge me for making the decision in advance for both of us. Believe me, it wasn't easy. I figured I better do this now before this situation escalates to a point we can't return from. I really wish we had more time. As responsible grown-ups, though, we have to acknowledge the fact. We can't take care of each other anymore, at least not the way we once hoped to. I know how hard you tried to keep us all together. So have I, but try as we might, we're different people now. The time has come to part ways. Please understand that this is the entire 
in the entire family's best interest, even though it's going to be hard for everyone involved. I wish you all the luck in the world. Please reach out for help. If not for me, do it for Mia. She needs her father. You can also call Blake for any news about us anytime. I decided to write this letter to you so you can read it once I'm gone and be reminded that we can never change. Love you for infinity, Amber. Please don't worry about Mia. Blake's taking care of her. You can see us once you get better. In the meantime, I left you something to remember us by. Was that when she committed suicide? Except for she kept saying us, so maybe not. Hello, Joshua. Error. Joshua, stop it! If not for me, do it for Mia. She needs her father. What will Mia think of you? <laughs> Josh, we have to secure Mia's future. Once you decide to be a father and a husband, give us a call, okay? Shit, I'm trying to! was terrified. She thought you were dead. You need to do this, Josh. Put on a brave face. You're her father. Hey, Dad. Look, you don't have to worry about anything, okay? It'll all be all right. I promise you. Okay, Dad. Hope so. Okay, Josh, this is it. Time to get your family and life back together. Hi, Dad. Dad? You there? Hello? Dad? You there? Dad? Can you pick up, please? Also, Mia would like to talk to you? Hear that you're okay? Oh, shit. I was certain Mia and I spoke yesterday. Fuck! What am I supposed to say to her now? Hey, Dad. Hey! I hey. haven't seen you since the funeral. Oh, come on, don't pass out. <laughs> Dad, I miss her so much. I don't know what to do. I need you, no, no, Dad. No, 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 no. Please, no. please pick Stay up. Focused. I can't lose you both. Dad? You there? Man, I don't know which one was the happy ending if either one of them was.
those I like these kind of games but they always leave me a little unsettled right because I don't know there's still it's still the door is still open for questions <laughs> it really didn't get any answers kind of left up to you to interpret it um, did the correct haze go in the first ending did the correct haze goes back and fixes everything and now is he leading the, the life of are what we wanted? I don't know. Thanks for keeping me company. Uh, I'm going to go ponder that ending for a while, and I will see you on the next video.